Hey guys, welcome back. So just my, made my way up to the uh, first of these tiny little caverns. And uh, the first thing I wanna do is I don't wanna show you guys the cavern or anything. Uh, first, I'm not going in, it's too small, too uh, narrow. And uh, pet peeve of mine is the uh, stuff that doesn't really show perspective. So if you're just looking at this without reference point, it's hard to tell, is this like a giant opening? No, so um, it's kind of pet peeve of mine, but when I do videos, I, I want to make sure there's a reference point. Not the best reference, but hold on. So this is my bag. Let's see here. It's not, so this is not a gigantic cavern at all. So. So this is a tiny little cavern. And uh, I'm trying to give you guys like a reference. I tried to stand the bag up, but uh, it's kind of flat. So, it's a very, very small, tiny little crevice. And no, I'm definitely not gonna try to squeeze in. I'm not a tunnel rat. And I definitely don't recommend trying to get stuck in anything. Okay, it's a beautiful area. Again, panning back out. Just to give you guys the perspective, it's a very narrow little crevice. And I uh, wanna make sure you guys see this panned out. It's a huge pet peeve of mine if, uh, if there's some exploration that doesn't show the actual perspective and you don't know if it's a big entrance or a large entrance. But so I definitely want to give you guys the perspective. And uh, there's another tiny, uh, maybe this one's a little bigger. And again, I'm going to show you guys the perspective and uh, let's take a look. Sorry for just going on about pet peeves today. I don't know why. Check this out, there's this tiny little, well, it's like a little cavern, so let's uh, take a look. And again, um, just pay attention to the perspective. It's not a show about, well, this is so interesting, blah, blah, blah. It's just nature, enjoy. Okay, it's kind of dark in there, and uh, just realized I forgot the light, uh, wait. Let's take a look. And for uh, safety, I definitely have my hard hat and it's incredibly easy to bump your head against something. It's very like shallow. And uh, yeah, I wouldn't, I'm definitely not going anywhere near these caverns without some PPE. It's also pretty dusty in there. So let me get my, all right, let me get my, the respirator. And uh, it's pretty secluded out here, so it's pretty safe to leave my pack at the entrance. And without further ado, let's take a quick peek. It's, it's amazing. Beautiful. Is there anything down there? Is there anyone down there? Is there any, not necessarily person, animal down there? All right. I'm definitely not a tunnel rat. And if you saw those old movies, like those Vietnam uh, films of tunnel rats and stuff like that, they squeeze into narrow entrances. That, that's definitely not me. Let's take a peek. Let's go. Sorry about the angle of the camera, folks, but this is a tight squeeze. Okay. And I'm really glad I have the respirator. Yeah, it's kicking up a lot of dust and uh, you don't know what's down here. Uh, bats, organic dust, some other weird chemicals, who knows. But yeah, all right, so I got hard hat, got my respirator, let's see. It opens up a little bit and uh, take a look here guys and uh, I'm not a tracker but yeah you can see like footprints here so uh, apparently there's been people here before me and uh, 
obviously with graffiti. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a dead giveaway, right? Okay, so let's uh, let's go straight into it. It's getting really dusty around here, so. Okay, no excitement, no camera shake. It's not a show, let's uh, take a look at the natural wonder back here. Okay, I'm just gonna be quiet, let you guys enjoy. Okay, just one thing. So, remember that stuff about uh, caves being kind of deceptive? Oh yeah, they are. So you have, sometimes you have a big entrance and it's a tiny little crevice. Here we have a small entrance and, um, again, some perspective. Uh, it's, I'm like standing here. Hold on, let me show you the angle. Okay, it's pretty, uh, now it's no longer dusty kind of took off most of the PP and uh, so take a look at the pers perspective and I don't have like a you know what I'll just pan it on myself for perspective all right so here we are I think the light is too bright um, all right so it's kind of hard to see the, the background and I couldn't really fit anything else in here except for pretty much myself uh, so, take a look. So, um, right now, like, I'm standing, uh, this is, like, my height right here, and, uh, sort of like my height and the cavern is so I'm kind of like reaching out so this is pretty impressive I'm, I'm pretty impressed by the beauty of this place and again I, I don't really like panning the camera to myself too often this is about the geological wonder it's not a show about me just want to show you guys this place Okay, so um, without like a distance meter or something, it's kind of hard to tell. So let me see here. All right, let's just do the survey, sort of. So that's that was like the entrance, and I had to like at the entrance is really small, so I had to crawl my way in, and uh, maybe I'll show you guys how tight it is getting in here. But right now, it just sort of like opened up to this uh, cavernous uh, area. Now, I'm not really sure how this formed with respect to geology and uh, you know developments over time, but the earth is an incredible place. So just going in a little deeper. This kind of reminds me of that short science fiction film where they're like, you got two astronauts and they're exploring like some, the ruins of Earth. Okay, what is this? It's incredible. being out here, sort of. Okay, so, and here's the thing, when you're out here exploring, sometimes you're kind of excited and you're like, wow, it's, this is so cool. So, um, let me try to take a step back and let's focus on 
the geology, any type of natural features that are noteworthy. So it's not a show. Okay, so there might be like geologists out there. So I don't know, this light is probably not a good idea. Let me see if I can turn this light off. Okay. Can I, hold on a second. Let me, sorry, let me adjust the lighting here. Now it's too dark. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, so. Okay, all right, so we do need the light. Okay, so. All right, so turn the light off. Let me see. Okay, so there's this feature here. Maybe this is like a limestone deposit. I'm not sure what it is. Maybe the geologist can comment and fill in. I'm not a geologist, so it would be really nice if there, if there happens to be some a geologist if they stumble upon this uh, you know video and uh, they can kind of inform on some of these cool features here and then maybe perhaps how it formed with respect to um, you know natural history like how does a rock just get here I can I can explore but I don't have I don't really have that scientific knowledge that will basically turn an experience into an informed, you know, uh, knowledge experience. Okay, and then there's some deposits here. So, never mind the graffiti, it's unfortunate, but... Well, you know, people tend to kind of disparage graffiti, right? But I guess if you're talking to an anthropologist, then what is graffiti? It's a form of culture, it's a form of art, so what's the difference between... Like all of a sudden, like, you, you look at this graffiti, right? What's the difference if all of a sudden I found, like, you know, uh, what is it, uh, pet, petrolis, pet, petroglyphs? And then you see, like, for example, if you saw, like, a 30 million uh, year old petroglyph, and you have, like, a, you know, graffiti here that's from, I don't know, like, three years ago, who knows? I mean, inherently, from a human standpoint, what's the, what's the difference? I'm not sure what those are. Again, I can I can explore, I can document, but any real knowledge has to come from geologists, people who really know what they're talking about. Okay, so let's head back out. It's a very uh, quiet place, so secluded. Uh, hold on a second, let me give you guys light so it's not, so it doesn't get like scary or anything. Here you guys go. All right, so I'm gonna make the way back. All right, let's go. Okay, so uh, here's where I have to sort of turn into a tunnel rat again. And uh, I can sort of fit through here, but it is a tight squeeze and you don't, you do not want to get stuck. You guys, so briefly, just for perspective, it's a very, very tight squeeze and uh, and definitely want to make sure that I'm showing the accurate perspective here. I 
and again uh, I would never try to squeeze through uh, without like you know without having a gear on because it is extremely easy to bump into something very easy even if you're very careful it's beautiful it's beautiful really okay let's head back down all right that was cool i hope you guys enjoyed just seeing this natural like rock geology and maybe some geologists they can uh kind of fill in how how places like this develop you know I, I don't know a lot about geology plate tectonics you know like subduction and bit the rock soil cycle all that stuff so that's leave that for the people with knowledge all right so i think that's enough cave exploration for today at least i got a lot of stuff to take care of the car uh the car needs to be maintained and uh, stuff around the house needs to the car the house uh, everything needs a really nice thorough deep clean sometimes like when you're focused on on you know the field nature like you forget about some other stuff okay so to, uh, I'm gonna head back down to get down I have to go through get back down this drop here and then got another drop to go down and kind of hike down and uh, yep 